everyone. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. So glad you're here with me today to do some crafting. I'm going to do some fall crafts from iron on to wood to vinyl. So lots of things happening and I'm super excited. Everything that I use today will be described and linked down in the description below so you can find all of the information that you need to recreate these crafts yourself. Let's head down to the craft table and get started. For my first craft in this fall video, I am going to do a maple leaf. Now, I, I've already done a ghost and a pumpkin for Halloween similar to this project, but I found this maple leaf at the Dollar Tree, and I did try and take off the like image that they had here, and I was hoping it was just like a sticker. And it was, you know, it just wasn't, it wasn't cooperating. So I turned it over and I took off just the price tag. And I think I'm just going to use this side. I printed out a plaid. This is a fall plaid. Um, and I got this on Creative Fabrica. I will link this down in the description for you since I cannot share this in Design Space. But this is just part of a fall um, digital paper that pack that I got on Creative Fabrica. And I'm gonna use this to cover the maple leaf. And then I do have a sentiment in vinyl to go on here. And we'll have to do that later in the video because we're gonna let this dry for a little bit while we do some other crafts. And then we'll come back to it so the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm just using matte Mod Podge. In fact, I need to order some more. That will be add to Amazon cart. But I just use the matte Mod, Mod Podge. And we're just going to put this all over the top here. I want to try, um, I'm sure you may have seen it online somewhere, but I want to try actually using the um, napkins, because you can get some really sweet designs, and then you can have festive napkins in your pantry. But it's so cool because you do this, you put the napkin on, and then you just light the edge, and it just goes like that, and the napkin burns off around the, around the outside. But I don't have a napkin, so we're using copy paper. So I... Just printed this on my HP printer with copy paper. Um, and let's see, I think I just want to make sure she let me cut down here. That way I can kind of see what I'm doing. And I think that's better. Probably going to have to sit like that. I guess we'll just have the plaid go up and down. <sighs> Hopefully I like that. Okay, and I'm just going to use my brayer to go around and just roll this on. So I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna put pressure on this side. So I think that is good. It's definitely stuck on there. And then I'm just gonna let this dry because I'm gonna to have to go around this with my true control knife before I put on the vinyl. So we're gonna let this dry and move on to another crap. Okay, so for my next craft, I have this cute little wood mug, and it actually came in this white, and on the front side, it says, but first coffee, and this was in the Hobby Lobby con uh, clearance um, aisle, and it was $1.49 that I paid for, and I actually bought two of them, and I'm going to leave this side for right now. I'm actually just going to use this side because it just, you know, it's fine the way it is. And then I am going to use a navy. And this is kind of an intricate design. So as you could tell, this design is pretty intricate and, you know, I just keep doing that to myself, <laughs> but I think it's just going to be so pretty in the end. 
So I'm just going to continue getting this weeded out and then we will get this onto our little wooden mug. Okay, so this says leaves and lattes. I'm going to use up some scrap transfer tape. So I'm going to do a little, a little overlap going on here. So I cut all of these earlier today. And then I had to do some family things. So I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if you're supposed to cut right before you leave. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna bring this in. And this is just gonna go here in the middle. And I just thought this would be super sweet. And it's, I'm using a dark navy. I thought it would be just a nice accent for the fall. And a cute little, just a cute little coffee cup to go over by my little coffee station. I think I could make coffee crafts all day. In fact, my husband was telling me the other day that I'm making too many cups. But I was making some for gifts, so. Be very. Sometimes this vinyl lays down beautifully, and sometimes vinyls, they take a little bit of coaxing. Where do I want this? Maybe this big leaf over here, and I need a little leaf there. Yep, I think that's how that's going to play out. I'm going to use a tiny little transfer tape here. Okay, so it is definitely leaf falling season here where we are and it is starting to get cold like especially at night and in the morning definitely i mean i love it but you gotta make sure the heater is on when you get in the car is it fall yet where you are well we're gonna go with that i don't remember exactly where the leaf was in the design space file which I am going to link down in the description for you because this came from Cricut Design Space. Yeah, I think that's good. I mean, the only other option would be to put it up here, but I don't know if I like that. I think I like it over here. And we'll just kind of put it this way. There we go. Okay, so this is leaves and lattes and some just some fall colored leaves. The leaves are really changing here. They're so beautiful and they're all kinds of colors, like definitely green and yellow. And then we have some of these fiery red ones. They're just gorgeous. So I thought that was cute and I'm really excited to have this over in my little coffee bar. All right, let's move on to the next craft. Okay, so my next craft is actually going to be quite large. I'm very excited about this particular craft. So I bought this Lazy Susan. Okay, I actually got this at the Dollar Tree in the plus aisle, so this was $5. I did sand it really good because I did not like the design on it. And then I used two coats of chalk paint. I did go around the edge with my antique wax just to give it a smoother finish. And so this is ready to go. And I have a very large SDG here, but I am loving this. And I love this slate gray color. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed this out and then we will get this put onto the Lazy Susan. Okay, so here is our SVG image. I am super excited about this. This is amazing. The next thing that I want to do is I am going to use this very large sheet 
This is Caesar um, transfer tea. And I just, first of all, I'm going to do a little tab over here. I don't know that I need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm only going to release about one inch of the transfer tea. And we're going to put this down, and it should fit exactly just like that. Pull this up. Easy, easy. Okay, and we're just going to burnish like normal on the front and the back. That little tab comes in handy. Oh, that is awesome. That is beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my blank here. Okay, all right, so I'm going to kind of shake it so that it's, you know, parabolic, so it's like a big U shape. And I'm just going to kind of take a look at where I want everything. All right, I think that's good. And then going to burnish it lightly because I don't want to pull up a bunch of the paint. Normally I use my paper transfer tape, but I really wanted to see where I was putting it. And I've had really good luck with this grid Caesar tape. I really like it. So I just did a light burnish. I didn't, you know, burnish it down too heavy because I didn't want to pull up the tape. I mean, the paint with the transfer tape. Oh my goodness. And actually, I don't see any film on here. I think I'll be able to reuse this, at least for paper crafts, for sure. Okay, hey, I'll worry about that later. This laid down beautifully. Oh my goodness, I love it. Gather here with grateful hearts. And I don't know that I'm going to seal it um, in case I want to pull it up and do another design another time. But this is so pretty. I love it. Gather here with grateful hearts. Sweet little heart down there. Okay, this was definitely a success. Let's move on to our next craft of the day. For my next craft, I have some iron-on foil, gold foil, and this is this is actually the Hobby Lobby brand. Um, I thought I'd give it a try because it's eight forty nine for the roll versus almost eighteen dollars for the Cricut brand. But I really wanted to try out some gold foil, and so couple things. I I got a couple of towels at Hobby Lobby. These were 50% um, off, so they they were about 225 a piece. They're 18 inches by 28 inches, so they're they're quite substantial. I'm going to use the red one for sure, and I also have these here. I got these towels at Marshalls. Of course, we have to drive three or so hours to get to a Marshalls or a Home Goods, something like that. We do have a TJ Maxx, so that's kind of fun. I thought we would do one of them. So I have this here, and I also got this at Marshalls. These are just little, you know, half oven mitts. And I kind of need a new pair anyway. So all three of these things are going to get some gold foil treatment. Kind of exciting. Let me cut these apart. This is very shiny. The last time I bought a gold, it was matte and it was okay. Was not overly impressed, but some of my Christmas crafts coming up, I will be needing some gold iron on. So I think here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to get these weeded and then we will put these on the crafts where they have been designed for.
Okay, I will tell you these weed really nicely, like super nice. Very impressed so far. Okay, so what I thought that I would do is I thought I would put this. This is like a fall color, but not necessarily um, like a fall design. But I thought it would be cute to just add a monogram. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my Easy Press Mini. And it does say that, um, it, well, it has the directions. And then it says it's a cool peel. Temperature is between 255 and 395. I am hoping that that is medium. And I am not sure, but I, I have heard from other crafters that I love to watch that you do have to be careful with the foil because once you pull up the um, transfer tape, you really can't put it back down again. Okay, I see a couple little little tiny places. Let me weed these really fast. Okay, that's great. Got it. All right, so we have lint rolled. We have, we're going to heat our design again. Okay. And we're just going to put this down right there. It doesn't say for how long. I guess it says about 30 seconds. Okay. So I'm going to let this cool for a minute. That looks so pretty. Okay. So I'm going to let that cool for a minute. I'm actually going to turn it over. So let's move on to this towel right here. And I thought this was super pretty and it's got a like a green scallop along the bottom almost like a pom pom um rick rack almost it's just pretty so I thought it would be nice to put something like this just a solid I could put it here over this pumpkin but I kind of like it right here where this pumpkin is just kind of like coming up out of that little area. Let me make sure that I've got this one weeded. All right, that looks good. Okay, so we're going to again, and I'm just going to use this already folded towel. This is kind of bumpy, and so I do need to flatten this out. Okay, had to move my glue gun. I got it out and ready for the next craft. So it was definitely, it's definitely ready and it is definitely in my way, but that's all right. This is such a pretty print. Okay. And then I'm going to just nestle that right in there. Okay. And again, we're just going to go here with some medium firm pressure okay and you can kind of see where it's already adhering to the texture in the towel that's pretty cool this is a textured towel which tells me it's kind of pulling away from its carrier sheet okay that is probably good. I'm going to let this just hang out right there, waiting for the cold peel. I'm excited for fall and Thanksgiving. Actually, I think I'm going to go this way, which is in the direction of the leaves. And I just made this image here with the monogram maker in Cricut Design Space. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. You know, stuff like this makes really good gifts. I'm thinking Christmas is coming. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, well, that one is ready to go. And we have one more. Oh, I love it when towels have these. You can hang them from your cabinet or wherever you have them 
Okay, so these are just some oak leaves and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go ahead and use the red one simply because that one has green in it already. I'm gonna leave my green oak plain. And here I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna put the word fall. I thought that was really pretty. I thought about doing an oak leaf, but I just couldn't find one that I liked that was close enough to these in design space. Before I put this down, I'm just gonna double check. There's no rogue pieces anywhere. Okay, so I think here is, there's where that fold was. So I think I want it here where it's kind of, it's in between and it's in this space. Okay. And that's another thing is like, this is a nice fun word. Oh, another thing I did is I did do a very, very, very thin offset. And then I welded it to the original word because the original word was like super thin and delicate. So I did do that in design space. When you go into design space, just know that this design has been altered just slightly but i think it looks great this is gonna look so pretty i am definitely looking forward to christmas and crafting not only for home decor but also for gifts okay i'm gonna let this cool for a minute and i do want to check the other one and see oh yeah that's totally cool I'm just gonna go slow it's so pretty this foil is super nice okay so this foil the Hobby Lobby brand I would say it is a win it's like it weeds beautifully it's laying down beautifully it's transferring so nicely and while it is very delicate, it's very durable. And then it's cool because it takes on the, it takes on the uh, texture of whatever it's on top of. All of that texture of the towel is showing through. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Okay. I just love kitchen towels. I don't know that you can have enough of them and so many of my, I mean, we use the heck out of them. And so they do have to be replaced pretty frequently. We got one towel down. Let's go ahead and check this one. Okay, good deal, already cool. And again, I'm just going nice and slow, checking the ends here. I think that's good. Okay, so this is towel number two. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm in love with gold foil. What else can I put gold foil on? I can do that with anything that will sit still. Oh my goodness, I think I just created a little monster. So let's move on to our next craft because my hot glue gun is ready. So I definitely can move on to the next craft. Okay, so my next craft involves this very large um, wooden sign. It has a jute string here at the top. It's got one around here with these little baubles and a bow. And then it did have a design here that again, I did not like. So I sanded it really well and then I just put a piece of painter's tape right here and I did um, two coats of chalk paint. I got this package here from Hobby Lobby and again this was 50% off so it was $2.49 so I got it for $1.25 and there are two sets of thankful, blessed, and grateful and so they come looking like this. And what I did is I grabbed a little baby wipe and I just went over the top. Okay, so I didn't do the back side. And the, 
The sides are already dark. It was so, so white. So I went and put this wax on top here and it just gives it a little bit of a rustic touch. So the next thing that I need to do is I need, I'm gonna use my little, I need to find out where the middle is actually. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I can bring this down. Okay, so that one is essentially in the middle. Now the trick will be to keep it in the middle while I do some hot glue. And so I don't know how I'm gonna, well, tell you what, I'm just gonna chance it. Here we go. And this was about where it would be. Oh, well, I don't know that I got enough hot glue on there. I may have to use some liquid glue. That's what I may have to do. Okay, I think I managed to get it. So I will come back probably with my heat gun and get these little glue strings up. Okay, I think I need another glue stick in here. All right, here we go. And kind of get that out right there. Okay, so far so good. A little tedious, but it's all right. It's very hot on my fingers. Perfect. Okay, so this is definitely good and on there. I will have to come back and take care of all of these little glue globbies, but other than that, I think it's good. Okay, so grateful, thankful, and blessed. Okay, so it's going to look like that. This will look really good on a counter or a sideboard. Fantastic. Okay, so for our last craft, we are going to cut around this particular shape. My SVG is over here. We're going to get that on. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around to the best of my ability. And I'm just going to cut away the paper. It'll be like that. All right, let me take care of that. And then we'll put our design on the leaf. Okay. So I am done with my sanding and you know, my camera stopped recording. So I am restarting and I actually am not sure exactly where it left off. So with that being said, this right here is the really cute maple leaf. I'm actually really excited about how that came out. So now what I'm going to do is I have a, um, I have an SVG and I actually have it in this dark navy that I, that I love. So I'm going to weed this out and then we can get this transferred on to the maple leaf. out. So well, I'm going to put some transfer tape down and I think I'm going to need an overlap. Okay. Um, this tiny little piece here can be my overlap. I'm just going to burnish this down on both sides just like normal. Okay. Now we're just going to peel this up. Excellent. And then, let's see, it's going to be like that. Okay. 
We sized that right within that spot. Definitely close call there. Okay. Beautiful. Excellent. That is so nice. I love that. Okay. Well, let me grab all of our crafts from tonight and let's decide which one is our favorite. Okay, these are all of our crafts from this evening. So our first craft was this one here, leaves and lattes. And it's just some scrap final on a little wooden mug that I got at Hobby Lobby. And this is the backside. I think I'm gonna leave that for now. That's so cute, I love it. And then we had some iron-on crafts. So I have the gold foil. I did a monogram for the pot holder, or well, I guess the oven mitt. And then we have some fall towels, and these are gorgeous. These fall towels are gorgeous with the gold foil and how it takes on the texture of the towel. I just love it. These are super, super sweet, high-end, love them. We did the Lazy Susan, okay, so this is like 14 inches wide or 12 inches wide, and no, it is almost 14. So this is the Slate Gray, two coats of chalk paint, so this is wonderful. I'm so excited to have this in, in my space. Then we made, we made this big one here. Grateful, thankful, and blessed. And a couple coats of chalk paint, some anti uh, antique wax, and then these are just hot glued on. And I left the little jute string with the little beads on it because I think that's pretty cute. And then finally, our autumn leaves. Okay, so our autumn leaves. This is just a... a little blank from Dollar Tree and we covered it with copy paper printed out in a fall um, image and have some navy vinyl with leaves are falling autumn is calling so I think all of these are fantastic I'm super excited about how all of them came out and you know I think my favorite is hands down my favorite hands down is this right here so this is my favorite, and then I will, you know, I have to go with the gold foil as my second, but I am in love with this. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite, and if you have already started crafting for fall, and if so, what is on your craft table? Thank you for joining me this evening. I appreciate all of you here. I'm so glad that you could hang out with me at my craft table, and until I see you in the next video, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. And until then, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day. And as always, happy crafting.